been tutoring kids at um, North Canyon for over 10 years. And they've done it in the library and community center, just face to face, sitting down with the kids um, in the after school whenever they needed it. Um, and so I chose to do that as my uh, like project for the year, I guess you could say. Um, and so when this started, um, I was just actually tutoring in a media center, just with kids sitting down with them talking to us. Uh, and I saw that they weren't really connecting with the type of strategy I was I was just sitting with them. I was kind of being a teacher for them, more of like, uh, I guess you could say adult figure, rather than just a student talking to a student. And I saw that it wasn't really kind of working the same way that I thought it should with a student and a student. And so I was approached by Mr. Billings, and he said that uh, he had this new opportunity with technology to tutor kids. Uh, we could do it from wherever we actually were. Um, we had an internet connected, we could just do it. And so I said, sure, let's do it. So we got a group of 10 kids, these are two of them here. Um, we're all seniors, but some juniors too. And we tutor online every day from 3 to 7 in the afternoon. So if it's, um, kids have time to get home, or they can work around their schedules how they want. And we used the software that they showed a little bit earlier called Webex. And it's actually, uh, it's like an online meeting center. Um, so they use it a lot for, like businesses use it for meetings, just like we were uh, um, but we use it to tutor kids, and what happens is um, it's a big training center, they call it a training center, and um, kids can just log on, their name shows up and all this, just like uh, Toman and Shimani do. Um, and tutors log on the same way tutorees log on, so they can even help them with that if they do. Um, and what they do is they get into a room like this, and there's always a, an adult on um, that's IT support too. Um, and she says, hi, how are you doing, um, Toby? And Toby says, pretty good, I, I need some help with um, So Shivani's there from three to seven, and she says, okay, I can help you. So what IT support too does, she's Leslie, um, like Leslie or Justine, right here. Um, she puts uh, the tutor, so Shivani, and the tutor, Tobin, or whoever, um, into uh, what we call a breakout room, kind of see them down here, call breakout sessions, and they're just really individual rooms that are just one-on-one, -on -one. Um, you can go face-to-face -face with video if you wanted to, um, or you can just talk or chat if you don't want to talk. So it's really like, I guess it's like flexible, um, depending on uh, what kids want to do. And uh, so if a kid has a question, they just go into a breakout room with a tutor, and take it from there. So, for example, so basically what I just did is I created the breakout room and we have control of the student ourselves. And it's a lot easier to be in a breakout room because it is, like Ari said, a lot more individual and one on one. So it's easier for us to connect things with kids too. And um, so basically you can have a bit of a situation where I'm the tutor and Toby's the tutor and you can ask me a question. And what's cool about WebEx is there's a whiteboard feature so they the question themselves. So if it's not a question that, if it's a question like math, where it's easier to just draw it out, like, you have the ability to do that. Okay, so what the, what I find really interesting about this, first off, is what Ari was kind of talking about a minute ago, is once you get into these breakout sessions, what we find is a lot of kids become more comfortable when they're in the one-on-one, -on -one, and some kids will turn on their audio once they're in here and it's one-on-one, -on -one, or some kids will just stay in chat, like they won't want to do audio with you, but the breakout session is how we're trying to get the kids to be more comfortable with us, so they're more... It's more personal. It's more personal, exactly. So like, uh, like Shemani's talking about with the whiteboard, we can do a bunch of different things. When, when you're not together, you can't, do things like this where you're drawing pictures like right here if I if I had a question to Shalane, like I didn't know how to do inscribed angles. I would say this is 45 degrees. And if you can see it shows up on my computer everything that he's drawing. So it's pretty much like doing it in person. Like that's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just say okay this is my problem that I have Shalani and I need help. I don't know how to do this. And then Um, so basically, we would tell, I would tell Toby, hey Toby, what's up? 
and it's really laid back. It's not, you know, it's not official. It's, it's very personal. We are kids there. Kids, you know. And so um, I, I feel so open. What's your question? I was like, okay, uh, I'm working on inscribed angles, and I have no idea what my teacher was talking about today, but I have a test on it tomorrow. And I All right, and so you, it looks like you drew a 45 degree angle and an X, is that correct? Um, and you're basically trying to find solve for X. Well, what's a really cool thing about inscribed angles solve. is the degree measurement of an inscribed angle is half of the arc length. And that's what you're solving for with x is your So x would be 90. This um, does that make sense? Everybody knew that, right? Does that make sense to everyone out there? Um, and then we would go, and if you have any other questions, we could erase that. We had a problem. And We do. We get about, uh, we say between 50 and 80 people per week. I mean, we're doing this, we do it four hours a night, so we're on a long time. And a lot of kids, our repeat kids, will come back. Some of them are more comfortable with some tutors than others. Some of them, it doesn't matter who they get, they'll uh, be on a couple hours a night uh, needing help. But uh, yeah, it is, and it's expanding a lot. Like, at first we started kind of small, but now we're getting more, we're kind of, not publicity is not the word that I'm looking for. It's not really advertising, we're not pushing it. It's That's not my question. Have you figured out? Well, uh, well, what we've done is we've sent emails to all, or Leslie and Justine sent emails to all the teachers in our district, and now we're expanding further than our district to the kids should log on. We are keeping it somewhat small at the moment because we don't, there's only 15 of them, and they're giving up you know, a lot of time during the week. These are these are kids that are involved in more than just academics. They're involved in soccer and dance and piano, and so um, it, it would grow probably as big as we were willing to let it grow. Right now, there, we have you could talk. Did you tell them about the uh, programs and, and then we do it. We're working. We're starting new with their Saris tablets with some of the uh, elementary schools which is why I, we wanted to go first, because what they're doing is what we're working on doing, too. And how about from an achievement perspective so far? Have you gotten feedback or track at all how much improvement there's been in the students that are getting tutored? Well, I know that I've had kids log on and then log off and then log back on after their test people do that really helps. Right. Yeah, there's, a kid, there's one kid, he gets on at least three times out of the four days. And he's always looking for yeah, yeah. When we first started getting on, we never really you know, we needed to meeting. But we uh, got on yesterday and he was telling me how he was on. So he was even asking me about uh, what high school life in seventh grade, so he's not too far off for him. But he's asking me what's high school life, and I say, well, if you do good enough, you can be a tutor like me. You know, it's not that hard. <laughs>
with the with the interface like this, I mean the learning curve for kids our age and younger is really quick with technology. Like the kid that I was talking about, the seventh grader, uh, the first couple weeks of this tutoring, because he was on more often than me actually, he was teaching me how to use this whiteboard. So the kids understand it quickly too. So as, as hard as it was for us to learn, it's it's easy for them. Tablets, and what they are are their video tablets, kind of their call. 